Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Today we have something informative lined up for you. If you like my video, don't forget to share and subscribe, and for more tech insights, stay safe online cyber defense. This essay explores the methods used to compromise Wi-Fi security. It is intended for educational purposes only. Hacking into Wi-Fi networks without permission is a crime. This essay aims to inform readers about potential vulnerabilities. It also empowers individuals to safeguard their networks. Understanding how hackers operate is crucial in our digital age. It allows individuals to protect their privacy and data. By learning about common hacking techniques, readers can better understand the importance of cybersecurity measures. Knowledge is power. This essay does not endorse illegal activities. It aims to educate readers about the realities of Wi-Fi hacking. The information presented here should be used responsibly and ethically. Cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. Wi-Fi is now as essential as water and electricity. In today's digital age, it's hard to imagine a world without it. From bustling cafes to the comfort of our homes, Wi-Fi keeps us connected and productive. We rely on it for work, entertainment, and staying connected. Whether it's streaming our favorite shows, video calling loved ones, or working remotely, Wi-Fi is the backbone of our daily digital interactions. But this convenience comes with risks. As we become more dependent on Wi-Fi, the potential threats also increase. A simple connection can open doors to a myriad of cyber threats. Hackers see Wi-Fi networks as gateways to valuable data. They lurk in the shadows, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. With the right tools, they can infiltrate networks and access sensitive information. They use various techniques to exploit vulnerabilities. From phishing attacks to malware, hackers have a plethora of methods at their disposal. Each technique is designed to bypass security measures and gain unauthorized access. Targeting Wi-Fi is attractive to hackers for several reasons. The sheer number of devices connected to a single network provides multiple entry points. Additionally, many users are unaware of the security risks, making them easy targets. Public Wi-Fi networks in particular often lack strong security measures. Airports, cafes, and other public places offer free Wi-Fi. But these networks are often unsecured, making them prime targets for cyber criminals. This makes them easy targets. Hackers can easily intercept data transmitted over these networks, gaining access to personal and financial information without the user's knowledge. Once a hacker gains access to a network, they can intercept data. This means they can monitor your online activities, capture login credentials, and even steal sensitive information. This includes passwords, financial information, and personal files. The consequences can be devastating, leading to identity theft, financial loss, and a breach of privacy. The rise of cybercrime is a growing concern in our interconnected world. As more devices connect to the internet, the potential for cyber attacks increases. News reports frequently highlight the latest breaches and the growing sophistication of cyber criminals. Hackers are becoming increasingly sophisticated. They continuously evolve their techniques, staying one step ahead of security measures. With advanced tools and knowledge, they can exploit even the smallest vulnerabilities. They are constantly finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities. Every day, new threats emerge, and hackers are quick to adapt. Their relentless pursuit of weaknesses makes cybersecurity a never-ending battle. This makes it crucial for individuals and organizations to prioritize cybersecurity. Implementing strong security measures, staying informed about the latest threats, and practicing safe online habits are essential steps in protecting our digital lives. By being proactive, we can mitigate the risks and enjoy the benefits of Wi-Fi without compromising our security. Brute Force is a simple yet effective hacking technique. It involves systematically guessing passwords. Hackers use automated tools to try different combinations of characters. They continue until they find the correct password. The success of brute force attacks depends on the strength of the password. Weak passwords, such as password 123, are easily cracked. Strong passwords with a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols are much harder to crack. The longer the password, the more difficult it is to crack using brute force. This is because the number of possible combinations increases exponentially with each additional character. Using a password manager can help generate and store strong, unique passwords. Planting the evil seed. 
Understanding malware in Wi-Fi hacking. Malware plays a significant role in some Wi-Fi hacking schemes. Hackers can inject malicious software into a network or device. This malware then works in the background to steal data or grant the hacker further access. One method is through man-in-the-middle attacks. Here, a hacker intercepts communication between your device and a website. This allows them to capture data or even manipulate what you see. Public Wi-Fi, without proper encryption, is particularly vulnerable to this. Another way malware spreads is through phishing attacks. Hackers disguise malicious links or attachments as legitimate content. Clicking on these can unknowingly download malware onto your device, compromising your network security. Phishing for passwords, deception in the digital age. In today's interconnected world, the internet has become a vital part of our daily lives. However, with this increased connectivity comes a heightened risk of cyber threats. One of the most prevalent and dangerous forms of cyber deception is phishing. Phishing attacks are a common tactic used by hackers to steal Wi-Fi passwords. These attacks are designed to trick users into revealing sensitive information, such as their login credentials, by masquerading as a trustworthy entity. The goal is to gain unauthorized access to personal or corporate networks. They trick users into revealing their credentials. This is often achieved through carefully crafted emails or websites that appear legitimate but are, in fact, fraudulent. The unsuspecting user, believing they are interacting with a genuine service, unwittingly hands over their valuable information. This is often done through fake emails or websites that mimic legitimate services. These fake websites are designed to look identical to the real ones, making it difficult for users to distinguish between the two. The emails often contain urgent messages that prompt the user to take immediate action, such as resetting their password or verifying their account. For example, a hacker might create a fake Wi-Fi login page. This page is designed to look exactly like the legitimate one, complete with the same logos, fonts, and layout. When a user attempts to log in, they are unknowingly providing their credentials to the hacker. This page looks identical to the legitimate one. The level of detail in these fake pages can be astonishing, making it nearly impossible for the average user to detect the deception. The user, believing they are logging into a secure network, enters their credentials without hesitation. When a user enters their credentials, the information is sent directly to the hacker. This allows the hacker to gain access to the network and any connected devices. Once inside, they can monitor network traffic, steal sensitive data, and even launch further attacks. They can then access the network and any connected devices. This can lead to a wide range of malicious activities, from data theft to the installation of malware. The consequences of a successful phishing attack can be devastating both for individuals and organizations. Phishing attacks rely on social engineering. This is the art of manipulating people into taking action. Hackers use psychological tricks to exploit human emotions and behaviors, making their attacks more effective. This is the art of manipulating people into taking action. By creating a sense of urgency, fear, or curiosity, hackers can prompt users to act quickly without thinking. This increases the likelihood of the user falling for the scam. Hackers often exploit emotions like fear, urgency, or curiosity to trick users into falling for their scams. For example, an email might claim that the user's account has been compromised and that they need to log in immediately to secure it. In their panic, the user clicks the link and enters their credentials, not realizing they have just handed them over to a hacker. By understanding these tactics, we can better protect ourselves from falling victim to phishing attacks. WPA Vulnerabilities Exploiting the chinks in the Wi-Fi armor. In this section, we delve into the hidden weaknesses within the Wi-Fi protected access protocols, commonly known as WPA. These protocols are the backbone of wireless network security, but they are not infallible. Wi-Fi protected access or WPA protocols are designed to secure wireless networks. They are meant to provide a safe environment for data transmission, ensuring that your personal information remains private and secure. But even these have weaknesses that hackers can exploit. Cybercriminals are always on the lookout for vulnerabilities, and WPA is no exception. They use sophisticated tools and techniques to find and exploit these weaknesses, often with devastating consequences. Older versions like WPA and WPA2 have known vulnerabilities. These older protocols, while once considered secure, 
have been outpaced by the relentless advancements in hacking technology. As a result, they are now seen as weak links in the chain of network security. One such vulnerability is the crack attack. Crack, which stands for Key Reinstallation Attack, is a particularly insidious exploit that targets the WPA2 protocol. Discovered in 2017, it exploits a flaw in the WPA2 handshake process. This handshake is a critical part of how devices connect securely to a Wi-Fi network and the crack attack takes advantage of a weakness in this process. This process is how your device and the router establish a secure connection. The handshake ensures that both the device and the router agree on a set of encryption keys, which are used to protect the data being transmitted. Hackers can exploit this flaw to intercept data. By manipulating the handshake process, they can force the reinstallation of encryption keys, allowing them to decrypt and steal sensitive information. While patches were released to fix the crack vulnerability, not everyone updates their routers. Many users are either unaware of the updates or simply neglect to install them, leaving their networks exposed. This leaves many networks open to attack. Unpatched routers are like open doors, inviting hackers to come in and exploit the vulnerabilities. Hackers actively look for these outdated systems. They use scanning tools to identify networks that are still vulnerable to the crack attack and other exploits. It's like leaving your front door unlocked in a bad neighborhood. Just as you wouldn't leave your home unprotected, you shouldn't leave your Wi-Fi network vulnerable. Regular updates and vigilance are key to maintaining a secure wireless environment. Thanks for watching and learning with us. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. We value your feedback. Cyber Defense. Cyber.